That's what it's looking like. And then when you come in right here, you have the half bath. So my thing, my floor plan is a one and a half bath. So this is a half bathroom where you will come in. It has the LED mirror lighting that's so nice. And then you have some area where you put some storage for like your guests or what you want them to, you know what I'm saying? Have <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, then here you have the washer, the laundry room, and I love that it has so much storage in it. Hold on, let me zoom y'all out. Okay, yeah. So when you come in, the boiler, laundry room, a lot of bins and storage space, really spacious in here. You got the circuit breaker in here, coat closet kind of vibe, storage for laundry, utility stuff, and yeah, so that's the foyer. Then when you walk over here, oh baby. Let me move y'all over here so y'all can see it. So black finishes, I'm gonna check out black finishes throughout the whole crib, but this is so nice. Studio slash vanity workspace. So nice. So as you can see, we got doors to the windows on both sides, which is super nice. And we got a balcony. But wait, there's more. So here is the kitchen. So beautiful. So this is like a darker brown, like, Chestnut cabinet kind of vibe. And I wish it had the same kind of contrast in the bathroom out here, but very brown. And the color palette that I'm thinking about using, doing is exactly this dark chocolate brown, whites, neutrals, pops of black, ivory, cream, with pops of green, and you know, eucalyptus and pompous. So here is this area. All of the cabinets have so much space. And these drawers are like pride drawers. The way they go in. Outlet back here. Squishy there. Nice size, just for me. Hey, everyone, just for me, my crib. No, you can't stay here. No, you can't feel me. Period. Okay? So then you have this area, which is mad dope because it's like, this is a little area of. You know, you can imagine the core of it in itself, and in this area, I'm thinking like maybe a bar vibe. And then you have the balcony, which again, I don't know what I'm in my business of exactly where I'm staying. Lightly, very spacious balcony. Okay, y'all see the view over here. I want y'all to see the crib from this angle. It's the lighting that they have up here, these studio lighting. So nice, okay? Let me take a thumbnail real quick. Okay. 
I'm gonna do my head ass keys post. <laughs> okay, so let's get into my bedroom. Yeah, so it's carpet, which I'm so used to. I always wanted wood, but I appreciate the carpet vibe because it gives like a homey vibe. And it's a decent size. It's not like the biggest bedroom, but it's a place. If I need to upgrade, we're gonna upgrade, but okay? baby, we're starting decent and then we're gonna expand. So what I love about this is that it has sliding doors on the balcony too. And this balcony is way bigger. Like, look at this. It goes all the way over there. And I'm in the clouds, like, not to be in my super sentimental bag, but y'all, I'm really in the clouds. Like, this is, this is a blessing. Like, this building is new. It's only two years old. Like, this is a blessing. Like, I really am grateful and I thank God so much for putting me through what I've been through so I could appreciate this even more. So here is the master. Stop me. So we got the tub right here. We got the walk-in shower, the his and her sink, the baby, her and her, she, she, me, me, period. So love that. Again, I wish the finishes was black, but it's okay, but this is like my favorite part. Oh, I kicked it. Look at the, just look at the, the vanity, son. Like, oh, and the closet is so spacious, and I love that they have the organization in there already. But baby, daily affirmation: You are that bitch. You are that girl. You cold. You was hot. She. Like, love that. Love that. So, here's the bathroom from this view. Again, I'm covering. I don't want y'all in my business, but so nice. Oh my God. So, that's pretty much it, y'all. Straight to the point. It's crazy how many homes I've been in, how much I've grown. And I'm just so ready to see what God has in store for me. So, thank y'all so much for watching this video. It's just crazy, like, oh my God. Like, every time I sit here and think about it, I've been traveling from Atlanta to Houston. Atlanta to Houston. So when I first left LA about a year and a half ago, I didn't know what city I was. I thought I was gonna choose Atlanta, if you've been following my story. I thought Atlanta was it because I wanted to pursue my music career heavy and I feel like Atlanta would match that more. But, you know, with me not really in my YouTube bag, that's why I was moving more towards Atlanta, but I feel like I really need to Stamp my name on YouTube. I haven't had like my peak yet. I had like a rising peak, but kind of went down, and I feel like I need to just get that peak again. I, I want to get a million subscribers. I want to be close with y'all. So I feel like this is new beginnings to that, and I'm really excited. This is my first time living officially by myself without having nobody with me and stuff like that. Or baggage. That's why I said that in my last ten. And go watch it if you haven't. But I'm just really blessed, and I just want to. Pray for anybody to send love and blessings to anybody that might have been going through a dark time like me. Um, um, pray, 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 stay prayed up. I just want to say a quick prayer, but Lord, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for everything that you have done for me, everything that you are doing, everything that you did do, everything that you are doing currently, or what you will do in the future, Lord Father God. I thank you for everything that you have done. But I just thank you. Like I'm just so thankful, Lord God, and I just ask that you move in this place. I ask for your spirit to just be in this place. I ask that any negative energy or any negative vibe or any, you know, demonic or devilish vibe or energy just rebuke and we cast that out of this place, Lord God. This place we are putting you in it first because anything that isn't done with you first, we don't know where we're going to be and I don't know where I would be without your presence, your mercy and your grace. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you so much for everything that you've done. Again, I just got to keep saying thank you. I ask that you continue to move in my life, move in my, my work, move in my plans, Lord God. And forgive me for my sins. I don't know I'm not perfect, but I love you, Lord. Once you about it, love you, and I will always come back to you. And just thank you, Lord God. Thank you for everything. Just thank you, thank you, God. Thank you for keeping me here through my dark times. Thank you for just giving me hope. And I will always have faith in you, God. Just continue to bless me, Lord God. My fathers that are watching, bless them, Lord God. If they're going through anything, I ask that you help them through it, help them see it through. And you are living proof of what you can do for us, Lord God. And I just thank you so much. And in your name I pray. Amen. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to start getting my furniture and stuff in here. And it's time. So, it's time for y'all to get out.
So, bye. Get out. Get out, my shit. Get out. Get out. I think I popped the vessel. Y'all, it's blue. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Let's go to the hospital. God forbid. Well, ow. Try to be freaking extra. But do y'all see these hops, though? Like, stop playing with me. You have another cheerleading team. Abby Nick got the tough touch hops. The form still. I still got it. Like, ooh. If I were to stretch more and get more flexible, maybe that tough touch would be up to the sky in the B shape. Stop playing.